Hi hey friends, welcome back. Now let us see how a buffer can be used as a queue. Queue is the one which is a first in, first out type of thing. That means uh, whichever data comes in first will be added into first. So we have a queue here of uh, some size. So there are spaces here and that's our first location, second location, third location and so on. The locations are numbered. So when the first data come in, say D1, so it gets into location 1 and when the second data D2 comes in, it gets into location D2. When the third data comes in, it gets into location 3 and the next data gets into location 4 and so on. Okay, so we are looking everything in parallel. So it's uh, very convenient for us to imagine what could come out first. Yes, of course, D1 would come out first because this is a queue and uh, the D1 data is in the front of the queue. Therefore, when we write the data, D1 comes out first, and then comes D2, and then comes D3, and then D4. Okay, so that's how the things work when you look at uh, in a human perspective, but if you look at a machine's perspective, it is not that simple. So we need to just uh, redo the things if you want to put it. So now when you say Q, Q has got uh, two ends. So that's a front end of the Q and there is a back end of the queue. So whenever a new person comes into, he gets into the back of the queue and the one who is in the front of the queue will be served. So this uh, entered from the back and from the front it gets served. So we need uh, two positions to remember where to enter the new value and which one to be served next. So for that, let's have two pointers, one called front and one called back. So let me just abbreviate this as B and F. So to start with, so when we know where is uh, the next space to be entered? So next space to be entered happens to be this. So this is the place when we get a data to be entered. And when the want, when we want to extract data from where we should extract, so it has to be the front only. So it is trying to say that both front and back are same, which means the Q is empty. So this is possible when the Q is empty. Why? Just let us look at it. So add D1. So where should I add D1? D1 should get into the back. What, where the back is showing, back is showing location 1. So the D1 goes into location 1. And now the next data, if it comes, it should be added to location 2. So now F and B are no more showing the same location. Therefore, now we can say Q is not empty. So if F and B are not showing same, 
then q is not empty done okay what next so d1 added so still time has not come to use d1 so before uh, using d1 so second data came in so that gets location d2 so the b shifts to the next one so now b is showing location 3 so now if you uh, think that the time for d1 has come so you need to remove d1 from the queue then d1 moves out so d1 moves out of the queue and definitely now the next in the queue is d2 so if you want to remove then d2 will be removed done okay then add d3 then d3 comes here then b gets shifted to the next location then added another data d4 then d4 gets here that uh, calls for saying that the next free space is here so f is showing which data to be extracted next and b is showing where next data to be added so that's how the queue continues now if you keep adding some more data and this way if you continue then d5 comes here d6 comes here d7 comes here and so on somewhere d18 came here d19 came here d20 came here and d21 came here d22 came here and uh, we found that so we have on the way somewhere removed so this was removed this was removed this was removed and all that so now the back so there is a no place to show so this condition is uh, called the queue is full is the queue really full the front end was here that means 12th data 13th data 14th data 15th data 16th data 17th data are there and uh, because b has reached the uh, end of the queue it says that the queue is full but if you look here there are so many free places which because we have removed d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 d9 d10 d11 so d1 through d11 were removed so these are free space but our uh, format was as uh, you keep uh, removing the f shifts to the next location as you keep adding b shifts to the next location and because of this at some time b will reach end of the queue that's a maximum size of the memory you have allocated for the queue and uh, though free space is there it says the queue is full so that's a problem we have with queue when we are working with some limited memory allocated for the 
q as a buffer so how this problem can be solved yes this problem can be solved if we go for a circular q and how it is done we see in our next session thank you